What's going on today, guys? We Repeats here, and today we'll be checking out the worst plugin UIs of all time. On my Twitter and in my Discord, I asked you guys to send me the absolute worst plugin designs that you've ever seen. So we're gonna take a look at those today. Obviously, check out my Twitter and my Discord if you wanna participate in things like this in the future. Okay, so the thing that kicked it off originally was me posting a picture of this right here. Yeah, whoever made this UI is an absolute lunatic. You were you were insane. You need some help. You need some help designing a plugin. You need some help hiding some of these knobs. You need some help hiding that body. I know you've got bodies. You've got bodies and you need some help hiding them. Okay, anyways, this one's called Arukan or Arukan. I don't even, even know how to say the name, all right? There's not there's not even a there's not even a video about it. Fuck this guy. Okay, the funniest thing about this video is he has a video from set from Unison Audio pulled up here. Probably the demo talking about this so he knows what to talk about in the video. That's hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. All right, moving on. Couldn't even find a fucking video of this one. No one dares do a video on this thing here. From what I hear though, you just hit randomize and it randomizes everything. That's essentially what you want to do with this. Honestly, essentially what you want to do is not use this in my opinion. It's got six oscillators and you control each oscillator all at once here. Output math, okay. It does have tooltip info though, so that's a W. I believe this one's free. It's fucking $34, dude. I thought he was insane for making this. Now I think he's insane for charging for this. We got this one right here. Real of Fox Ladies. This song here starts with Patty in the intro, then a very special rapper, and then Teresa in the chorus. Check it out. Dude, why does it have the pictures of all the ladies here? Is that supposed to like make it more valuable? <laughs> what the hell is this shit, dude? Amazing Dr. Dre type beat there. Dude, are you fucking me right now? I'm really just trying to think of a joke about that rap voice. I'm I'm really struggling right now, but I know there's something there. I don't got anything. I don't got anything. If you guys got something, drop it in the comments. I don't got anything for this. For once, I got nothing. But can AI do this? AI can do a lot of things, but can AI do this? Now, would you believe that this costs 300 fucking dollars? You can get this for the low, low price of 300 fucking dollars. To be fair, it did come out eight years ago. People are like, oh, music production, it's easy, man. It was not easy eight years ago. Let me tell you that. This was not easy eight years ago. This is what you had, and people were happy with it eight years ago. That's fucked. My favorite part about the UI of this one is how it shows the pictures of the people that are singing. Why is that necessary? Well, you better have paid them well if their faces have to be immortalized on this piece of shit. Okay, moving on. If you want to buy that for $299, go for it, guys. Or you can just get Teresa for $119. Make sure to use my affiliate link. I linked it deep in your asshole. All right, we got this one here. Sonatina, Sonatria. Sonatina, Sonatina Orchestra Choir. And then they just got a fucking random orchestra picture and then they just slap knobs on top of it of random colors. When you see that font, you know it's gonna be good. What the hell is that? Is this like some sort of meter for reading depth or something? Are we on the right video right now? Was that, was this a fucking sniper scope? What is this shit? This one must have been made by the last guy. I don't even know what the hell this thing is. So we got Comic Sans for the font here, and then we got a different font for everything else here. It's like, this is their first UI ever, and they were like, that's good enough. That is good enough. We don't need to do anything else. We've done enough work. I've worked hard enough for one day. I've worked for one hour. I'm done. This thing is unfindable, dude. That is the worst VST name ever. You name something Section Strings, nobody's gonna find that shit. You name something what it is exactly, nobody's gonna find that shit. Shit. Nope, I don't have hours to look for this thing. If you ever see this thing though, you'll know it when you see it because Comic Sans. Honestly, Tyrol doesn't look that bad in compar like, comparison. It looks like Subtractor in Reason. That's nothing compared to this, some of the other things on this list. You know, I don't know. After seeing some of these other ones, this is not that bad. I don't know. Maybe I've just completely ruined my sensitivity to bad UIs. I mean, it's not great, but it's not that bad. Okay, there we go. That's more like what I'm talking about. This is like some Tron shit. I mean, I get what they were going for, but that's that's amazing. That is amazing. Well, it does look that bad here. I mean, it's still terrible, but it doesn't look as bad. How much do you guys think this is? I just saw the price on the screen. Take some bets in the comments right now. <clears throat> $159. Anybody who buys this. I, I got some other shit I could sell you if you want to buy this. Let's see this one right here. Mm, yeah, this is bad, but it's not as bad some of these other ones. I think what I hate the most about this one is how nothing is like different. It's all it's all white, gray, amp, like every section of it is the same exact sort of fader. Let's look up how much this one costs. Now, since this is the second version of this, it makes me wonder what was the first version of it like? Dude, it came out in 2014. Okay, this one 
Hmm. Now this is the kind of shit I'm looking for right here. I don't know about you guys. This is the one I've, I'm looking for. Song. Apparently people are saying this is amazing. I really want to test some of these out. Domain is for sale for $1,800. That's a little bit expensive for a domain. Well, I guess we can't even get this thing if we wanted to. I'm not sure how these other people got it. I have very high hopes if the domain is worth so much money. I don't know. We may have to track this thing down actually. Dude, that new flying lotus be hitting for real. Pendulate by newfangled audio. I mean, it looks bad, but like maybe it's a lot worse in practice. Well, clearly this person loves blue. So I can't, I like blue too. So I can't really blame them. I mean, this is not that bad. This is not that bad. I, like I've, we've seen much worse so far. Micro tuner. Um, yeah, yeah, that it has. I mean, it's like, it looks like relatively simple when you look at it, but like actually using this thing, I've tried once, not for me. I mean, this one's not really that bad either. I don't understand what is going on with the lyrics over there. You need to know some sort of code. Is there like a code for this? Kind of a banger, I must say. Okay, among actually well-liked plug-in manufacturers, Glitch Machine's Cryogen is almost completely unusable. I mean, it doesn't look that bad to me. Let's look it up. I'm noticing a trend here. A lot of these are very old. Okay, the problem with this one is not just the UI, but it's the fact that it doesn't seem like there's any information on it. If you have no idea what's going on here, you have no idea where to even start. Is there a fucking metronome in this beat? Oh God. Okay, I mean, I understand why it's like this sorta, but that's that's a little bit hard to look at for sure. I mean, you know what? I think if they wanna make this better, need to up, we need to up the amount of tabs. We need more of these. We need at least four times more. I'm gonna do that in editing. I'm gonna show them what that looks like. I think they'll like it. Uh, let me know, Cryogen, if you like my edit of this plugin. I think it's good, but we can make it great. Okay, this one looks great. Shiny dirt, okay. The overtop saturation really speaks to me, as well as the eyeball theaters. That's very nice. I'm not sure exactly what that is there. Is that a balloon with the face on it? What is that? And then thankfully, yeah, we need the we need the frequency spectrum here. That's important. Oh, and we have the cat here. Well, that's important. Wait, there's a second image. What is the second image? VSD compatible. Okay, good. Sounds like a core prophecy. You know, maybe it's like a case of like a butterface, you know? Deprecated, please instead use our much better VST simple microtonal sampler. Boo, I want to use this, man. This is a shame when people stop hosting their great plugins. I want to use this, okay? This is not cool of you to take down this wonderful piece of art here. I will say Surge is not pretty. Surge is not pretty. I hear great things about it though. I've like opened it a couple times, but I, I don't really have a lot of experience with it. Apparently it's great. I don't know. I mean, looking at it though, it makes me wish I was blind. Wow. I don't even know what to say about this one. It looks like a bunch of little sound goodizers. This person really loves blue. I'm color deficit guys. I don't know. Is this blue? They really love whatever color this is. What is this one? Is this one 3D? Cool. So you use it in a 3D angle. How does that work? I need to see that in real life. It's a, it's just a fucking dither too. All it does is dither. Why do we need 3D for dither? This one time travels straight out of the nineties for sure. Wow. So from the looks of it here, this one just modulates things with LFOs and you have uh, your options are split frequency, damping, low gain, high gain, output gain. You know what? I think more developers need to do things like this. We need more strangely scaled plugin knobs. Not enough of that. We don't have enough of that. I'm going to say what you're all thinking. This one's badass. He just like me for real. And then we got, we got the hands here to fondle the eyeballs. I think this one's beautiful. You guys are just hating. I don't have anything else to say about this one. Just wow. I mean, pitch map's not that bad. It's not great, but it's not that bad. UAD dream verb. This is crazy coming from a company like UAD. It's somehow gives me vaporwave vibes just a little bit all right this one i think i'm gonna have to blur that's that's a naked woman with one maybe two legs i don't know i don't know exactly um it appears to be a basic synthesizer with a filter lfo and a cutoff maybe that's what the cutoff is yeah the baby audio one's not great but it's not that bad it's really not that bad. Okay, this one, this one is not good. This is a Waves plugin, if I remember correctly. This one, they need to update this one. I mean, I kind of like the solid state and tube saturation for vocals on this one. I mean, I do hate the steampunk design, but overall, this one's, it's a decent plugin. It's okay. Okay, this is the opposite of the other one. There's just too many windows. Software sampler. Oh, this is like NNXT, but worse. Wow. Okay, the colors and stuff don't look too bad, but just the way it functions looks not good. At least it's free. What the hell is this? What am I even looking at here? All right, let's see what this is. Um, 
I think you're just hating. This one's amazing, all right? Crazy thing is this is a collaboration. They collaborated to make this UI. How are you even supposed to figure it out? The GUI is designed to be anything but conventional, but the inclusion of switchable labels makes everything a little bit more manageable for those that like to know what they are tweaking. I like to know what I'm tweaking, yes. Okay, on the side, I feel like I've heard of this one. Ears are gonna bleed in a good way. I think my eyes are gonna bleed too. Did Skrillex actually say this? It's an absolutely crazy multi-band distortion. How do we know these that he actually said this? There's no way they, let me get this straight. The only testimonial they have on their website is from Skrillex. I'm supposed to believe that? Well, I gotta, I gotta buy this. If you guys wanna see me try to make a beat with these plugins, I'll try to track down the ones I can get. Uh, just. Drop a like on this video and I'll do so. For everyone who likes this video, I will call the cops on you. And they'll show up to your house and arrest you um, indefinitely. If you made it to the end of the video, comment and down below. Check out my second channel if you haven't. There's more fun types of videos on there. If you want to support the channel, consider join my Patreon, becoming a channel member. I'll see you guys next time. Incorporated.